September 2004. After 18 straight successful middleweight title defenses, Hopkins put his streak on the line against Oscar De La Hoya. While De La Hoya was the aggressor early, Hopkins' advantages in strength and size began to surface in the middle rounds. Oscar finding it harder and harder to block or duck Bernard Hopkins' shots, hitting Oscar De La Hoya with virtually every power punch now. Here's Down the goes De La Hoya on a body punch by Hopkins. He doesn't look Ho like he's gonna get up, Hopkins guys. was pushing him in, getting the left time, He's been knocked down in five and a half years, and he's not gonna make it up. It's a Bernard Hopkins knockout of Oscar De La Hoya in the ninth round. June 2006, following back-to-back -back decision losses to Jermaine Taylor, Hopkins moved up two weight classes, challenging Antonio Tarver for a light heavyweight championship. Though Tarver was a heavy favorite, he was overmatched from the outset. Right hand by Hopkins again. Another right hand by Hopkins. That one landed and bothered Tarver. And a third right hand lands for Hopkins. You can't maintain your momentum. You can't keep this pace. So he's gonna wait, try to land a big shot. Instead, in round five, it was Hopkins landing the big shot. His glove touched the canvas, it is a knockdown. Antonio Tarver was knocked down by Bernard Hopkins. He had to put a glove on the canvas to hold himself up. That's a huge moment for Hopkins. Seizing the moment, Hopkins wouldn't let up. Big right hand by Hopkins to the chest of Tarver. How big a favorite did you say Tarver was, Larry? Three to one. This fight has been one long celebration for Bernard Hopkins. July 2007, Hopkins fought a catchweight fight at 170 pounds against Winky Wright. Hopkins was beating Wright to the punch early, and the headbutt in round three opened a bad cut over Winky's left eye. Feeling a sense of urgency, Wright became the aggressor. Good left hand by Wright. Now Wright lands a solid left hand, and Hopkins takes a look at Zip to say, wait a minute, how about him butting me? but Hopkins continued applying pressure to the cut on Wright's left eye. Hard right hand by Hopkins. Good left hook by Hopkins. Those are Hopkins' two best punches in a while. The blood is really flowing now from above the left eye of Winky Wright. Hopkins yeah. is stepping on the gas. Hopkins noticeably. looks fresher, looks a little stronger, and that may impress the judges. Hopkins was awarded the unanimous decision victory. October 2008, coming off a split decision loss to Joe Calzaki. Hopkins challenged the undefeated and heavily favored middleweight champion, Kelly Pavlik, at the catchweight of 170 pounds. From the opening bell, Hopkins was the aggressor. Bernard Hopkins has the faster hands. Who would have expected that? So far, Hopkins is not fighting like the old Hopkins, but he's not fighting like an old Hopkins either. The 43-year-old's hand speed is embarrassing the 26-year-old fighter. The domination continued for Hopkins as his shots landed at will, round after round, in an increasingly lopsided fight. He still has the faster hands. He still dominates the center of the ring. He's still ripping Pavlik in domination and putting him on the defensive. The crowd loves it. Bernard is winning this fight decisively from the first round to the last round. He has dismantled middleweight champion of the world. And he is establishing his eminence once again. May 2011. Can 46-year-old Bernard Hopkins beat this strong, hungry, young champion in the champion's hometown to break George Foreman's record as the oldest man to win a championship in the history of boxing? With history on the line, Hopkins seized the moment. These are some real hard shots Hopkins is landing here. Now Hopkins is doing push-ups in the ring to try to embarrass his younger opponent. <laughs> Hopkins is pulling out every trick in the book. I think Bernard is fighting the best fight I've ever saw him fight aside from the Trinidad fight. When you consider his age and you consider this crowd and everything and as young as this man is, I've never saw him fight this aggressively in a fight. Oh! oh super right hand by Hopkins. Bernard Hopkins is the absolute master of craft among current boxers. He's going to make it to the bell. And if he makes it to the bell, in all likelihood, he's going to make it happen. You don't have to love him, but you must
love the chase and the hunt And I set the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it 100 Don't need a bank, no I'm funded Play the game like it's nothing I'm always thankful for something Don't take for granted, stay humble Now wake up! It's time to look at the enemy Look in the mirror if he is no friend to me It's not working out, maybe it's the chemistry It's time to break up so I can make a better me Better believe in your mind cause it's everything You can mold, shape, find almost anything All it takes is some time and some clarity To find your identity, it's mind over everything to overcome the deficit, losing his title by majority decision. March 2013, 48-year-old Hopkins looked to make history once again against undefeated belt holder Tavoris Cloud. Hopkins was able to dictate the pace early on. Right hand over the top by Hopkins, Cloud to the dog. Now he embarrasses Cloud with another flush right hand shot in the center of the ring. Cloud is not pressing the action like he should. Cloud got in a good right hand on Hopkins' jump. He takes an uppercut for his trouble, though. A cut over Cloud's eye in round six led to increased activity from the younger fighter. But Hopkins was prepared. Hopkins is taunting him and trying to take advantage of Cloud's aggression. You tend to appreciate this, the mastery of the sport, from A to Z. In what major sport does someone perform like this on this level at this age? Bernard Hopkins applies his fabulous mental skills once again in such a way as to vanquish a man 17 years younger than himself and again become the oldest man ever to win a recognized title belt in boxing.